Alright, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be told about the popularity slash revenue made of popular gacha games. Of course, this is an Arcanite's channel, so we're going to talk about Arcanite's, but I want to preface these websites are not 100% accurate. I always have to say that, but these websites aren't 100% accurate, but we're going to look at them anyway because some of the information is still interesting and it's still fun to look at. Anyway, so first of all, we have App Magic here. I'm not going to go over this website too much because I feel like there's better stuff for this, but for example, currently I believe this is JP Arknights. This could be with Global, and I'm pretty sure it is since this has like United States, etc. But I think this is mostly just JP Arknights making over 5 million. Pretty good. I mean, pretty decent. Of course, Arknights making that much money. It's pretty nice. CN apparently makes like 2 bajillion more times a JP and Global. I'm pretty sure Global combined with JP is like not even close. I could be wrong, but I've heard that a lot. I think it's massive in CN, but if we take a look, lifetime of course more than 200 million, but the last 30 days is of course most interesting. A lot of people like it in Japan, probably more spenders in Japan and more players than there is in global, but alright, now we have pretty most interesting data to actually look at. So this is the Sensor Tower monthly data. I'm not actually entirely sure how they actually get this information. I, you gotta also take this with a bit of a pinch of salt, this might not be exact. Some games like Honkai Star Wars and Genshin Impact will make less money solely because this doesn't count for PC clients. So if anyone's on a computer or like a console, they won't actually count the amount of money that's made. So take that into account, Honkai Star Wars and Genshin have made a lot more money than this. But first of all, take a look at this, you will see that months are compared. If it's red, it means they made less money than the previous month. And if it's green, they made more money than the previous month. First of all, of course, Honkai Star Rail. I'm pretty sure this was in Bibit Alune. And the other month was Kafka. I could be wrong, but I'm not shocked it's made less money. But let's keep going here. We have Uma Musume Free Derby. I mean, this is this is a game about like I think horse riding and it's like Japanese. People always try and explain this to me, but I never remember what they say. And very popular though, in Japan. Very popular. I'm pretty sure we don't have this on global. Next up, we of course have Genshin Impact. Genshin making a little bit more money because the actual characters are a bit more interesting. I think. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of Genshin anymore. I kind of lost my hype for it, but I heard that the daily commissions are getting changed. Oh my god, thank god. Thank god. Maybe that's just me. Thank god. Nikkei making way more money last month. I think this was the collab with... Um, how was it called? I don't even want to say the name because I might say it wrong, but there was a collab. I think that's why this is the case. I actually enjoy the game, but I don't play that much. We are making more money. They grant all the JP. Wow, okay, they did not make as much money. Must have been a big update or something, but that's actually a big drop, more than half as well. Alright, I'm sure there's a reason for that, but wow, I mean, they made a lot of money last month. Well, previous month, August. 53 million. Wow, Jesus. Alright, next up we have Dokkan Battle. I know a lot of people don't know this game. Some people know the OSTs, but this game is so good. Oh my god, like... I, if, even if you don't like Dragon Ball, I really recommend it. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I love this game. They have Future Trunks and Future Gohan, I believe, on the actual game right now. I've, I luckily got both of them. Very, very good game. Recommend it. Making a lot of money. Not even shocked. Previously, not actually on this list, but Global making even more than JP. Wow, I'm actually shocked. One Piece Bounty Rush? Uh Oh, yes, this game. Yeah, I, I don't like this game. I don't know if this is a JP only game though, or maybe this could be the JP only game, but for me personally, I'm not a fan of this game, but I know quite a few people do like it. Making less money, I'm sure there's a reason for that. Next up we have Summoner's War. Summoner's War, a game I've played <laughs> pretty much since it came out, a lot of it. I've quit like a million times, I'm not playing it anymore. There's a lot of problems with it, and it's made less money, nothing really out right now, so I'm not shocked. Big Grand Order, Global, making less money. Then, of course, JP, but not shocked. Interesting. Wonder why? Wonder why it's making more money now. Blue Archive? Oh, oh wow, that's actually dropped considerably. I'm guessing it's probably just not a good banner right now. I don't know, that's actually a big drop. Why did it just drop so hard? Let me know in the comments, I'm interested. Alright, now, next up we actually have Arknights JP making more money. I don't... I Well, Arknights JP follows the same stuff as Global in terms of schedule, I believe. So I believe this was a bit of Monster Hunter. I could be completely wrong. What did we have last month? I'm pretty sure it was Parley Monster Hunter. I don't even remember what we had now. We had like Fiamare rerun, but that's obviously not going to be very big. 
Next up, we also have Dragon Ball Legends. Dragon Ball Legends making a little bit less money. I, 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 I've played it. It's not my type of game. I know there's a lot of problems with it. Right, next up, we have Final Fantasy Ever Crisis. I believe a new game. Yep, a new game for JP. Interesting. Wonder if it's actually going to be good. I would look and be very curious if this comes out on global. I like Final Fantasy. I played Final Fantasy 15, which people didn't like, I believe. It's actually really good. Well, okay, it's... You know, I like it because I'm just a sucker for cool dudes, but, you know, just saying. Heaven Burns Red, a uh, JP game, making a lot less money. Not sure why, interesting. Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't know that game either. A lot of JP only games, to be fair, though. Epic 7, making the same amount of money it did previously. It's probably off by a little bit or something, but that's actually quite interesting. Okay, I like Epic 7. If you like anime games, Epic 7's probably up your street. A lot of gear farming though, and it's kind of frustrating, but I do like it. I'm trying to get back into it, but I believe... I'm just kind of waiting for a collab or something to come on it. Right, Memento Mori. On global, wait, this is like... I believe this is global, or maybe it's not global. I, I, wait, what does the purple thing mean? Does that actually show? No. Okay, interesting. I don't know what that means, because like there's a blue one and there's a purple one. But regardless, interesting, Memento Mori, not a game I'm personally a fan of. I know on global this game is not like that popular at all. It's a bit weird, it's like an AFK game, but the actual gameplay isn't really like proper gameplay, which might sound weird, but it's hard to explain. Power of God New World, very fun game. I love this game, I've kind of had a break from it at the moment, but very very good. The updates are looking good, the characters are looking good. I want to just say, I'm a big fan of this game. We have en Ensemble Stars. Never heard of the game before. JP game. Not brand new as well. It looks like there's some dudes on here, which probably means that this is a very different game. Hmm. Usually you see waifus, but instead you see dudes. Interesting. I don't know what this game is. Let me know. I'm actually very curious. Visual Lane. JP making more money. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably because of that skin. I don't know if that skin actually came out, but if you didn't see the drama, there was drama about a skin. Probably, probably what it was, but regardless, Fire Emblem Heroes, oh yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes is a game I've always tried to play, but I just can't get into, I don't know what it is, bit of a weird game, not, I'm not a big fan of the gameplay, but the characters look kind of cool, making a bit more less money, not crazy lol, though, oh, Final Fantasy Ever Crisis is out on global, oh wow, okay, I didn't know that, making 4 million, that's pretty decent, I'm curious to see how well this game does, games I make like this type of money, and just fall down or they rise and I'm curious to see which way it's gonna go. One Piece Treasure Cruise making considerably less money. I believe they had Gear 5 of Luffy previously and that's why they made so much money but I could be completely wrong. We're seeing other games on this list now which is very nice like One Piece Treasure Cruise, um, you know Ever Crisis, Dokkan Battle. I'm happy to see those games on here because it wasn't actually again originally recorded. Right where are we? So that matchy battle chronicle, uh, making a bit more money for JP. I'm not a big fan of the gameplay, it looks very weird, but I want to watch the show, to be fair. At some point I probably will, but I'm so lazy. I'm just watching Haikyuu pretty much at the moment. One Piece Bounty Rush, of course, this is global, making less money. Sure, sure. Azure Lane Global, making more money. Wonder why? I don't know if Azure Lane has a delay between JP and global. I'm guessing they don't, so maybe this is also the skin, or maybe some ships came out. I don't like the game personally, but I know some people do. Bang Dream Girls Band Party. Me more money. Alright. You know what? I'm not even going to question it. One Piece Treasure Cruise on Global making less money. Luffy probably. Blue Archive on Global making a lot less money. Guessing it's probably a banner. Kind of explains why Blue Archive and JP wasn't making as much money. And then we have Global Arknights. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty low, to be fair, for Arknights. I mean... Global Arknights doesn't seem to have made that much money anyway. Like, okay, this is a lot of money, of course, but I've never seen Global Arknights, like, pop off, like, all the way up here. Well, usually it doesn't go super high for Global Arknights, but that's actually quite interesting. So, only 1.5 million last month. I wonder if this does count for Monster Hunter, if it doesn't. I'm curious. Let me know. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Monster Hunter and Female Rerun. Maybe there was something behind it. 
Well, I would have expected it to do a lot better. I think it, I think the actual Monster Hunter Club started at uh, the end of August, so the majority of people are just spend their money then. Would explain why we have a higher amount here, but I don't know. Interesting. Princess Connect JP, not a game I've actually really been a fan of, but pretty cute game, I guess. Make it a bit less money. I don't know how well this game's gonna do. It seems like a pretty average game. Dragon Ball Legends JP making a lot less, making pretty much the same amount of money. Making less than global. Wow, interesting. Brown Dust 2, I'm not a fan of that. The gameplay is very, very weird, but I can respect that people could enjoy it. Making less money though. I wonder if this game's actually gonna do well. I'm very, very curious because I've seen a lot of content on it, but I just don't know if it's gonna like do well in the long run. Another Eden, no idea what that game is. That Mighty Brat Battle Chronicle, making more money in global now? Okay, interesting. Curious to see how well this game does. Like I said before, not a big fan of the gameplay, very curious. Honkai Impact 3rd, ignoring PC client on any consoles. I don't think Honkai Impact 3rd's on consoles. I could be wrong, but it could be. Making less money? Um, I mean, fair enough. I actually don't know what's going on on this game, but I've actually stopped playing it to be honest, because I'm not a big fan of the game. Like, it's cool, but it just kind of gets kind of boring if you don't have units, for me personally. Which, I mean, I don't play enough to have units, but getting, like, currency to summon, ugh. I'm not even going to get started with it. Power Fantasy, making less money, uh, I'm not shocked. I mean, the game's a bit weird, to be honest. Not a big fan of it, but I know some people do like it. Some. Some people like it. Very specific people like it. Alright, next up we have Aether Gazer, a game making the same amount of money, fair enough. Not a big fan of the game, but maybe one day I'll try it, I'm not sure too much though. Punishing Grey Raven, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say something that's gonna offend a lot of people here. Punishing Grey Raven, I mean it seems to have like cool combat and stuff, but I just do not like how it looks. I feel like it looks, it just doesn't look that great, in my opinion. I feel like if you compare it to like Honkai Impact 3rd, the actual like characters in Honkai Impact Fair just look really good, while some some characters in Punisher Grey Raven just do not look good. It's just my opinion, but maybe one day I should play and change my mind, but I'm not too sure about it. Ever saw making less money. This game I actually played originally when it came out. It was fun, but there's there was really not much to do it to be that excited about. I'd soon they make a colorful stage, making less money on global, fair enough. Honkai Impact, Honkai Impact Fair JP making less money as well. Okay, fair enough. It pretty, pretty much just fair enough. I am not actually sure what's going on in those games either way. Path to Nowhere making the same amount of money it did. Path to Nowhere, of course, like, most people said that it was going to be, like, the competitor to Arknights, but the gameplay just looks trash. I'm sorry. I know it's a mobile game, and they need to make it... They can't make it look that great because it's a mobile game. Like, of course. But if you're going to make a bad-looking game then maybe don't make a game like that, in my opinion. Like, chibis are mostly... I mean, I'm not, okay, I'm not a massive fan of chibi design, don't get me wrong. I think Arknights is one of the very, very minute games that, like, actually does chibis well. But I feel like a game like Path to Nowhere, it just doesn't look good. I don't really like the art style to it. The stages look very weird, and I can appreciate that some people like the story and the character design, but... The actual gameplay, it's just, it's just not for me. I don't think it looks good. My opinion. Right, next up we have Punishing Grey Raven. Of course, we talked about that before. This one actually dropped a lot for last month. I, I believe this made like 3 million at some point. And this tacked up Symphony. Made like 3 million and dropped to 600,000 and now it's 400,000. So, dropping a lot of money. I wonder if this game like recently came out and now the hype just died off. That's my guess. Out of Plane, uh, I don't know anything about this game. Another Eden, not sure. A lot of these games I'm probably not going to know much about. Let's see. Another Eden, yeah, no idea. Guardian Tales, never actually heard of it before. Never heard of it. Snowbreak Containment Zone. Wow, okay. 300k. 300k is not a lot of money. I remember people were telling me to play this game. And I don't want to drag on this video too much. If you're still watching to this point, make sure to drop a like. I really do appreciate it, but Snowbreak Containment Zone was a game that people told me to play, and I looked at a gameplay, and I'm gonna say it, it didn't look good. Like, maybe the actual, like, gameplay looked good, but the actual, like, design of it and stuff, I'm very specific, and the game just didn't really excite me at all. If it looked actually good, maybe I'd play it, but the characters just look... 
there's just something off about the game. But let me know if you like the game, I'll be curious. Outside, game I played, but I wish it was actually good. I just don't understand the game anymore, like, I just don't get it. I don't know what's going on with it. Octopath Traveler, I don't know anything about this game, but I think I've heard good things about this. I could be wrong. Assemble Stars, thing we talked about before. Alchemy Stars, making a little bit less money. This game is like constantly being fallen off and coming back. I'm very curious to see what the future of this game is. I don't imagine it's going to last forever, but of course, maybe I'm wrong there. Limbus Company making a lot less money. Um, very storage of a game, but I don't think it's a very good game. I think there's, I think there's quite a bit of drama around Limbus Company. I could be completely wrong, but I remember people talking about it quite negatively at some point. I don't know if they maybe made some changes that people weren't happy with, but for me personally, it's a big old skip. Guardian Tales, yep, okay, Girls Frontline, uh, the original one, I believe. This, there is, there is actually gonna be a new game coming out, which is gonna have a six month delay between CN and Global, I believe, and that's gonna be absolutely fantastic. It's just another Arknights all over again. Ugh, all hype will be dead, pretty much, when a character comes out. That's pretty much how it feels like most of the time. I'm very, very sad to hear it, but making less money, probably the reason is because they're not pouring that much into this. Maybe a little bit, but new game is going to be the bigger deal, of course. Neural Cloud, uh, a game I played, I hated it. Well, I hated it, it's a big word. I disliked it. I just did not like it at all. I don't think it looked good. Bank Dreams, Girls Band Party. You know what? I'm not even going to question that. Girls Frontline, JP making less money. Neural Cloud, making less, making the same amount of money. Still very, very low for a gacha game. And what else do we have here? Alchemy Stars USA, making a little bit, but not that much. And Hegan Youth Raw. Wow, okay, 26,000. $26,000. Okay, I'm gonna say this now. That's actually kind of insane. Because I remember this game coming out and people are hyping this up a little bit. And I think this was a game that I didn't like the look of. And I was just like, no, I'm not playing it. And 26 k unless I missed maybe it being somewhere up here, I'm, which I'm pretty confident I didn't, this is incredibly low. Oh my god, that's awful. Anyway, before I get distracted, I really made this video way too long for this, but I love looking at this because it's so interesting. I honestly do recommend Dokkan Battle to anyone who likes gacha games. Even if you don't like Dragon Ball, I didn't like Dragon Ball originally. I played this game, fantastic. Very, very good game. It's a little bit... You can see that it's a bit dated, but the way that the animations look and stuff... Oh, so good. Anyway. Next up, I want to talk about one last thing. We have the Arknights Google Trends tab. I think this is probably the best, actually most accurate way to look at like actual trend for a game. If we take a look at like the last 12 months, as you can see here, it's not very clear. You can see it is kind of maybe not dropping down completely, but it's actually at its lowest. Wait, I believe it's literally at its lowest since it's actually been in the last 12 months. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. But to be fair, nothing really going on right now. Very, very curious to see what happens. I believe that this was Monster Hunter somewhere over here. So I'm very, very shocked to see this. That's actually kind of mental. But anyway, if we look at the past five years, which I think is probably the most interesting, I was looking at this and it's doing pretty decent, to be fair. Like, Arknight is not going to die. That's just straight up reality. It's not going to die, but it has dropped a lot in recent time. But to be fair, we're waiting kind of for CN changes. Like, Oh my god, this was so low at one point. That's crazy. Well, I think we're waiting for a lot of CN changes. I hope the game does keep going back up because the game just deserves a lot of credit for what it's done, I think. I think, honestly, Arknights is probably the one game where I think it really does deserve to make a good amount of money because they actually put the money back into stuff. Advertising, anime, a lot of other things that I think are just kind of cool. Collaborations are actually genuinely pretty nice. I like them. But anyway... I think that pretty much does it for this video. If you are still watching to this point, you're an absolute legend. Let me know in the comments. I don't know why I made it so long. I've played so many gacha games in the past that I just feel like I can talk about every single one of them. There's a very minute amount of gacha games I haven't played. Almost like JP exclusive or like One Piece Bounty Rush. I've probably played most of the gacha games. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next one. And most importantly, adios.